also rested in this month and we, also, we celebrate the hard work undertaken by our founding father in stabilizing the young nation at birth. Also today is what is a day again it is also a month when our own Muse Masinde Muriro also passed on. Honoring His Excellency Michael Kijana Wamalwa. His Excellency Michael Kijana Wamalwa played a great role in the life of this nation and the world. He was a person of unusual wit and extraordinary grace who loved his country and served without discrimination as an epitome of servant leadership. He led without holding dangerous cards under the table. He spoke the truth without minding the consequences and emerged as a leader that Kenya needed to provide guidance focusing on neither personal gain nor a creaturely comfort. Yes. We may draw from his example as leaders and as a community and pursue that 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 which builds a better community and a better Kenya. Our should again farming under threat and must be rescued. We observe that production of sugarcane in Kenya has been on the decline. It has declined by 41.2% last year, moving from 339.7 thousand tons in 2016 to 376.1 thousand tons in 2017. Why the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics 2018 economic survey reports attributes that this decline in production to prolonged drought leading to harvest of immature cane, it is clear that the sugar cane sector is in a crisis. As a Kenya's demand as Kenya's demand for sugar has been on the increase, there has been no effort to incentivize local production and protect the local farmer. On the contrary, importation of sugar to bridge the growing gap between production and consumption has been the default feature. The Kenya Sugar Directorate made it worse last year by reducing the target price of sugar, sugar cane being paid by millers from Kenya shillings 4,320 to Kenya shillings 4,052, citing that the millers will not afford to pay the amount. Sony Sugar Company should be lauded for defying the directive from the Sugar Price Re Re Regulatory Committee and continuing to pay its farmers uh, Kenya shillings 4,320 per ton of sugar delivered to the miller. While this reduction in pricing was made on local farmers, large quantities of sugar were imported into the country without import duty, amounting to about Kenya shillings 32 billion in what seems to be a major plan to line up someone is pockets through corrupt means that flout a procurement rules. That also kills the local farmer and ruins the economy of Western Kenya. This trend can be seen in how maize farmers have also been treated, dropping prices and delaying uh, paying farmers while flooding the market with maize that no one knows where it came from. As leaders from Western Kenya, we say enough is enough. We cannot watch the livelihoods of more than six million people in Western 
Nyanza and other parts of the country destroyed our resolution. In this regard, we resolve the following. One, we urge the president to invoke powers given to him in the constitution and establish a commission of inquiry into the sugar cane scandal that now threatens a whole region. Second, we ask the government to act on the turnaround strategy for not only Mumia's sugar company, which is ready for implementation, but should also extend intervention to all the factories established under session, session of paper number 10 of 20, uh, 1965, which saw the establishment of the one sugar factory in 1922, Ramisi, 1927, Uhoroni, 1966, Chemeli, 1968, Mumiasi, 1973, Mzoya, 1978, and Sony, South Nyanza, 1979. These factories are an economic backbone of more than 15 counties which are now under threat. Number three, we now caution newly established private millers who have been exhibiting predatory habits of poaching sugar cane made for the original millers. We now call on the regulators to provide broad policy framework that zones the production and milling areas and eliminates poaching and sabotage. Number four. We urge the government to implement and ensure adherence to policy guidelines on sugar importation, or importation such as strict insurance and management of import permits, collection, and continuous use of data to estimate sugar deficits that must be offset through imports. Number five, we urge Kenya to invoke the provisions of the safeguard clause at article number 61 of the Comesa Treaty that offers conditional protection to the sugar sector for a limited time and use that watershed to address the factors that make our sugar less competitive on Comesa markets. Our unit of purpose. We are here to announce that the Western region is coming together under unit of purpose that will forever change the political and economic landscape of this region and country. It is no longer going to be business as usual in which Western region has been viewed as a region that plays a support role in the politics of the nation. No, we are going to determine and shape the direction of politics of this nation. Thank you. This is a statement by leaders of Western Kenya. This statement will be signed by all leaders and I want to call upon the our party leaders or Bilara Wetu, starting with uh, His Excellency Honorable Nisariam Dabati to append his signature, followed by Honorable Moses Wetangula, followed, followed by Honorable Eugene Mwamalwa, and then followed by Speaker Ken uh, Lusaka, uh, uh, Governor Sos Peter Jamong, uh, and then Governor Patrick Pongamati, and then outside. Then after that, the rest of the leaders will come, greet you, and then sign the statement.